As the sun shines on all of my glory My flaws don't look so bad at all What was I so afraid of? Hey everybody, it's Charmelle. Welcome and welcome back to Lux Lux Lifestyle. Welcome back to another video. So if you enjoy lock content, lifestyle content, and self-help and self-development content, then make sure to hit that subscribe button because I do a little bit of all of that. But welcome back to another vlog, you guys. So today is Wednesday and I'm feeling really good today, you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I've just had a really productive morning so far and... It is barely even 11 o'clock so basically the time changed this past weekend so you know it's been it was daylight savings so it's been getting dark at five I personally hate this time of the year because I am such a like daylight kind of girl like my energy comes from the light it comes from the sun so usually like when it get when it gets dark like naturally when the sun comes up in the morning my body is just like programmed to get up and then like when the sun goes down and it gets dark like naturally my body starts to wind down so now that it gets dark at like five o'clock i just feel like my days are so like i just feel like my days are just so much shorter now um so i personally hate this time of the year and then like monday the day after the um time went back I, uh, y'all had the laziest day. I was literally in my pajamas all day long and <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. Like we need days like those, but like, I don't know, something about it just didn't feel good to me. Like I am not a sit in my pajamas all day type of girl. So the fact that I just laid, sat around all day, I did not like that. I mean, I did get some work done. I ended up um, finishing editing the video and posting it, but uh, -uh I was like, okay. I can't do that and then yesterday um yesterday was a little more productive um but it was so rainy it rained off and on all day yesterday so i was still just kind of in the house um i did get some work done i ended up updating like my media kit i ended up reaching out to a few brands to kind of pitch myself and things like that so i had a productive day but because of the rain it was just very like i don't know I personally hate this time of the year, like I said. But today, I'm feeling so much better, you guys. Well, I wouldn't feel bad, but today, the sun is not raining no more. It's cold. Y'all see I'm bundled up. It's still cold outside, but the sun actually came out today. It's light. It's not gloomy. Um, I woke up this morning at 5.30. I don't think I need to be up every day at 5.30, but I woke up this morning at 5.30. Um, I ended up writing out my lesson plan because... Um, over the last few months, I have been teaching Sunday school at my church. Not every Sunday, but like once a month, I have been teaching Sunday school, which is so funny to say because if you guys remember last year, some of you have been around since that time. But basically last year, I posted like a transparency talk video. Um, and it was last summer. And around that time, y'all, like, I was going through it. Like, literally the world, I felt like the world was falling apart. <laughs> so it was just so chaotic around that time. And so in that video, I was talking about, like, how um, I had took a spiritual gifts test because I kind of knew my spiritual gifts. But I just wanted to be, like, reassured because I wanted to, moving forward, I wanted to, you know, operate in my spiritual gifts, use everything that God has given me. So one of my, two of my two out of three of my highest spiritual gifts one was um exhortation and another one was teaching and you know in that video i was talking about how i was surprised that like exhortation was like my second highest spiritual gift because i had never seen myself like or imagined myself in that aspect and so just to look at the sun the clouds it just got really gloomy i don't know if y'all can tell but anyways so yeah basically i was just saying how like I would have never imagined like exhortation to just be one of my highest spiritual gifts. I had never just kind of seen myself in that light. I mean, I would have like, I guess, inkling certain like little desires that I would feel down deep down inside, but things that I just kind of never expected for myself. So it's funny because like I said, I posted that video last summer and then fast forward a year later, I'm in a position where I'm like actually teaching um to a class which is like what is craziness it's just crazy um i've just 
I can look back and just see how far I've come because if they would have asked me to teach this class like say five years, I would have been like, uh-uh, get somebody else to do it. Excuse me, can you record me real quick? Mm -hmm. Can you record me real quick? Mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. <laughs> because I wouldn't have, I would have been, I would have said no. One, because I was just probably, like I'm still scared. <laughs> like there's a lot of things that God, God has been calling me to do that still scares me. But through these years and through my maturity and growing and my walk and in my faith, one thing that I have just learned is just to say yes and to be obedient just because you really never know like what is going to be used as a stepping stone to get you to your ultimate goals in life. And yeah, and even just like even talking to, you, to it about you guys here on my channel, like especially in the beginning, I wasn't always comfortable talking about it here on my channel, not because like I'm ashamed um, of God, not because like I'm ashamed of my religion, but mainly just because I've been learning and figuring it all out for myself. And sometimes when you speak too soon on things, like people have the tendency basically i was still trying to figure it out so for me i didn't feel comfortable speaking about things that i myself was so still unsure about and although i'm still unsure and still learning a lot of things like god has just given me a new level of confidence and understanding to the point where i can speak about it in some aspect i'm not at a place where i feel like i'm ready to share everything that god has placed inside of me but the things that he is calling me to share and to talk about like i'm just becoming more comfortable with that by no means am i a perfect person that's always been kind of my fear because like i know i'm not perfect i know i still have so many more things to overcome and work through and so i never wanted to prematurely share things um and then i do something you know contrary to the things that i said and then be judged by it and then you know work through my own problems and issues while also dealing with criticism and things of that nature i just never want to speak prematurely or out of timing out of god's timing specifically um but anyways i went on that long spiel just to say i woke up this morning um and the first thing i did was i started planning my lesson for this upcoming sunday because it is my sunday to teach but yeah, it's just been a really productive morning so far. Um, I got up, cleaned my kitchen, had me a little coffee, a little breakfast snack, took a shower, um, got dressed, did my makeup. I just finished filming some content and now I'm on my way out the door. So yeah, I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling very productive. I feel like I'm going to have a good day. I don't really have plans like that, but since the last two days were just very rainy, gloomy, and I just felt very lazy, I just want to get out of the house today, um, get some fresh air. Um, yeah, I'm going to go check my P.O. box. I'll probably stop by my parents and go see them. May treat myself to some Starbucks, and then I think I'm going to go to Trader Joe's. I need a couple more things for dinner tonight. Going to the grocery store is just... It's ridiculous and Trader Joe's is like a little more affordable so I'm gonna Trader Joe's to see if I can find the few little things that I need to get for dinner and yeah I'm gonna try to get back home before it starts getting dark like I said it's 11 o'clock so a lot of the things that I have to do they're all in the same vicinity so I should be good um so yeah I need to clean my glasses um, yeah, I'm about to get myself together and get out this door and... you guys so we are out and about honestly i took care of most of the stuff that i needed to do um i'm just checking leaving my p.o box honestly i need to change it because it's over where i used to live i don't live over here no more so i don't get to check it as often but when i'm in this area i do like to make sure i go check it um but yeah went to where did i go i went to um trader joe's picked up some stuff um, for dinner tonight and for dinner tomorrow. And then um, I ended up going to Old Navy. 
um i went to i ended up buying two pea coats y'all so last sunday i was getting dressed getting ready and i went into my coat closet and my older pea coats y'all they a little snug on your girl like i can barely like raise my arm and stuff in it and i'm not tripping because i had those pea coats literally for years but they're good quality but i just can't fit them comfortably anymore like i can get them on but they just don't fit comfortably so i wanted like a new like nude pea coat and then like a new black pea coat the every coat i've ever purchased from old navy has lasted me a long time so um i got like a they had some long black ones but in the large they had one large left and it looked like it was returned and used because like it had bead bead like what's it called you know how to be looking beady hold on i didn't get that one but i ended up getting like this grayish color one it's almost like a plaid but i don't know i'll probably show you guys later but it's like gray and then i also ended up getting like a light brown plaided one so yeah i got the starbucks <laughs> so i ended up getting me something and then got something for my mom and then my nephew's there as well so i got something for all of us i love their holiday drinks so this is the praline latte that i got and i got it with sweet cream instead of like milk or yeah it was still like milk or a half and half but yeah now i'm getting ready to head to my parents house and go sit with them for a little bit and then i'll probably head back home within maybe about three or so before traffic picks up so i'll see y'all in a minute all right y'all so i just got back home um just changed real quick so i can just changed my clothes and got comfortable i'm um, probably about to get dinner started soon it's like almost four o'clock so it's still relatively early but i do like to get my cooking out of the way before it gets too late and i get too lazy so i guess i can do like a little trader joe's haul and show you guys everything that i got so first up i got me a little sparkling um wine this is the opaline pinot noir it's a brut um rose i love getting wine from trader joe's their wine is always super affordable and they have like a variety for a good price like this was 7.99 um i'm not familiar with this brand so i don't know if it's quality or not but it was 7.99 and i'm not mad at it <laughs> next thing i got is this pasta so these are organic italian the organic italian artesian pasta and these are the jig jiggly i don't know i'm probably pronouncing it wrong but there's these like swirly pasta noodles i've never had this style of noodles before but tomorrow i think i'm going to make like a shrimp um tuscan pasta or something so i got these noodles to try also got me a box of oatmeal um oatmeal is just one of those easy breakfasts you know a decent amount of nutrition not too much keeps you full put a little on your stomach I never tried the Trader Joe's brand of oatmeal, but when I went to my regular grocery store, store this past Sunday, the box of Quaker Oats was $5.49, and I left that box right where it was at. So even I think the off-brand, the store brand um, box of oatmeal was still close to $4, and I just cannot, and I will not. So with Trader Joe's, this was $2.49, so I got me a box of this. It's the maple brown sugar. Um, I got a couple of oils, so I like to use this coconut oil spray when I use when I cook in my air fryer. So I picked up some more of this, and then I also got some grapeseed oil. This was also fairly inexpensive. I think this was like maybe three dollars. If I go to my grocery store, my regular grocery store, I think a bottle of grapeseed oil that I usually buy is like close to ten dollars. Every time I go to Trader Joe's, I'm like, why don't I come here more often? Because every time I go, it's always just like the price difference is just such a difference from like the mainstream grocery stores. And then I also just got some flour because we were just low and we needed flour. Um, and I think I want to bake some muffins or something this weekend. Um, yeah, when it gets cold, I love just like baking little goodies. So we needed some flour. So I may be baking some stuff this weekend. But yeah, what else? This is like frozen stuff that I had in my parents' freezer. So I got a bag of these um 
Argentina shrimps that I'm gonna use in my pasta tomorrow. And then I also got some chicken pot stickers. I love making these for like lunch. They're really easy to cook and make and they taste good. I got some cilantro that I'm gonna use for dinner tonight. I'm gonna make me some like chicken birria tacos. Uh, also got some salsa for the tacos. Got some shredded cheese. This is a Swiss and Gruyere cheese blend. I'll probably use that in the tacos tonight. Um, I got some baby spinach and tomatoes, which I'm gonna use for the um, pasta tomorrow. I also picked up these um, pretzels. These are the butter toffee, the Trader Joe's butter toffee pretzels. I was snacking on these when I was at my parents' house. They're all right. They're mini salted pretzels tossed in buttery toffee. They was, they're not nasty, but I don't know. I just expected something different, but they're cool. And then also picked up a couple of seasonings. It's just some taco seasoning mix for my tacos tonight. Um, I got some ranch seasoning and then I also got some smoked paprika because we are low on paprika. And then lastly, I just got some tortillas for tacos tonight. But then, like I told you guys, I went to um, Old Navy and I got a couple of coats. Oh, I also went to the, the beauty supply store too because I am going to be washing my hair and retwisting it tomorrow. And I think I'm going to do a style. I'm going. I plan on doing just a lock knot bob, which you guys have seen me with here on my channel a few times. Um, honestly, I think I'll be able to pretty much get away with doing the lock knot bob with just my natural locks but um my locks are kind of layered naturally layered at the top and for some shape just to make sure like these pieces are even to give me that bob shape so i went ahead and just picked up some marley hair just so i can um like extend the twist in the front just to make sure that i create the shape that i want for the bob and then i also got a new bonnet and I got, um, this is an eyebrow pencil, but I love to use these eyebrow pencils from Ruby Kisses as lip liners because I don't know, I feel like the brown is always really nice. So got me one of these. And then from Old Navy, like I said, I needed some new some winter coats in general. And I hope these fit right. Cause honestly, I did not try them on in the store because I had that fluffy um, jacket on and it was just gonna be too much. And so hopefully this fits. I got it in a large. I've accepted that I'm a large and <laughs> I just buy larges now. Don't even play myself I'm trying to squeeze in mediums. It's a little big in the sleeves, but I feel like it's not the right outfit. It's a little oversized. Um I may have could have gotten away. Mm, no, I need the large. Cause see my other ones when I do like this y'all, I feel like I could barely get my shoulders up. <laughs> so I'd be needing some room. So I got this one. I got two coats and I paid like 139. Cause the coats were, it depends. They had a lot of different styles of jackets, but all the winter coats in general were either 30% off or 40% off. So 140 for two coats is not bad at all. This one is more so like a wool coat. It's not necessarily a pea coat. It's a little thinner than that other one I just showed you, but it's this one here. Yeah, just some winter coats. Like I said, I needed a couple winter coats because um, it has been cold. I'm probably gonna give away the other two coats that, um, I have a couple of jackets in there that are a little snug. So I'm probably gonna give those away because I know people need some coats right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. I really enjoyed my outing today.
see my mom, my dad, my nephew was over there. So I hung out with them for a little bit. And it was just nice getting out the house. I'm going to finish putting all of my stuff away and then cook some dinner. I think I'm gonna, after I finish cooking dinner, I'm gonna work on editing this video. Um, because later this week, well it's already Wednesday and I've only posted once so far this week so I need something else to post this week and tomorrow I'm going to be filming I'm going to film my lock wash routine and then Friday I know I'm doing my cousin's hair and then we might do something so yeah I definitely need to start editing that video tonight so I can get it posted by sometime this week um but yeah that's it y'all but yeah y'all I'm gonna start cooking and stuff so getting ready to do her hair as you guys can see I did my hair yesterday um, it came out really cute I have not done a lock knot bob since like June and every time I do one like it eats okay I love it I just feel very like conservative <laughs> I don't know I feel very like mature and I don't know little short bob styles they all just look so good on me especially with this color but yeah 
um i filmed like a complete full wash day and retwist routine more than likely that will be up before this video so i will link it here or in the description box for you guys to go check out but like i said my cousin just got here actually getting ready to do her hair um i'm just gonna be doing like a u-part installation braid her down and sew the um u-part on and style it and stuff so yeah let's go get set up oh.
all right y'all so i just finished my well i finished her hair a little bit ago um and now i'm on my way out the door so i'm trying to get my cousin to stay out here a little longer so we can go grab lunch but she lives like an hour or so away so she was trying to get back to her side of town before like traffic and stuff picked up but i text my girl misha i like you working from home today and she said yep and so now we're gonna go grab lunch um so yeah so i'm on my way out the door um super casual today i just have on like this gray jumpsuit put on my uggs put on this coat that i purchased the other day my brown purse and we ready to go so um what am i looking for my keys let me grab my keys and i'll see y'all today is friday i think it's been like a full week <laughs> since i vlogged so last weekend i just kind of had a lot going on and i just didn't really have time to vlog um and then this week y'all cold and flu season has been beating my behind okay um i just got a little cold i still sound nasally but i'm a lot better now um but yeah i had a cold this week y'all and i just been resting just trying to take it easy because like i said Fall has not been that good to me. Y'all know last month I had tonsillitis, then I got a cold this month. But it's not too bad. I mean, in hindsight though, pre-pandemic, I used to always get sick right before Thanksgiving. So honestly, like my internal clock is right on time for like a seasonal cold. But yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, but yeah, today is Friday. We are actually on our way out the door for like a movie date. We're going to go see Wakanda Forever. Um, I'm really excited. I have not been to the movies in like two years, so this should be fun. Yeah, and so since I ain't been to the movies in a long time, I wanted the full experience. So we're going to see like the 4DX 3D uh, movie for Black Panther. So yeah, our show starts at 1220 like 11 45 so we're gonna start heading that way now and i'll check back in with y'all later The movie was good. What you think, babe? Wonderful. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> we seen it in the 4D 3X. We is too old. It was like a two and a half hour roller coaster, but it was a twenty dollars well spent. Would you do the 3D 4X thing again? <laughs> I would do. It. <laughs> the chairs was rocking and rolling. That's the only roller coaster I'm going on. <laughs> Air blowing on our ankles. But it was fun. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Ooh. 